Whenever I ask chef friends and restaurant critics where to dine in Koreatown, one name always comes up, Park's Barbecue. I'm on my way to meet Los Angeles restaurateur Jenny Kim for a crash course on Korean grilling. What are you making now? I'm making japchae right now. Japchae has the onion, mm -hmm. carrots, little beef, and mushroom, mm -hmm. and uh, spinach. Mm -hmm. We fry all this together. Mm -hmm. This is a tangmyeon, it's a potato starch noodle. Okay. We boiled it mm -hmm. with soy sauce. That's why it's that beautiful brown color. Yeah, so we want to keep the brown colors that makes it more delicious. I'm going to mm -hmm. a little bit of garlic, and I'll put a little bit of sugar, the sesame oil. Mm -hmm. This is soy, soy sauce. sauce. Soy sauce. Mm -hmm. A little bit. This is sesame seeds. Sesame seeds, yep. Most of Korean dishes are made with like soy sauce, a lot of sesame seed, a little, little bit of sugar. sugar. Yep. Yeah. So you're playing salty against sweet against nutty. Right. This is our appetizer dish. Okay. Yeah. Like Very the good. Sukusa when we make banchan, we make a lot of portion. Mm -hmm. Because we have to serve like 200 people well. daily. Okay, we have pan. Wow! This is a cucumber that we made. Uh -huh. 17, 18. Well, 18 side dishes, and that's before we have the meat. Yeah, for two people, it's, we usually serve nine dishes. Okay. Nine, 11, 13, 15. Okay. That's how it goes. In a tradition, like King used to eat 15. Side dishes. Okay. We must be very special to yeah, people. Yeah, we're special. Okay. So here's the meat. Here's the meat. And this is the fat that we want to oh, grill so, the... So you're using a chunk of beef fat yeah. to oil the grill grate. Yeah. Fantastic. I'm going to give a little bit of onion flavor. Mm, to rub the onion in yeah. to flavor the grill. Okay. And those, those. Oh. This is non-marinated. Non-marinated. And this is marinated or this is this also not marinated? Okay. Oh, I love the scoring technique too. This is called diamond cut. Diamond cut. Yeah. The purpose is to tenderize the meat. Okay. Jenny, will you just kind of describe for me the process that we saw in the kitchen? Yeah, we use the prime rib. Prime beef plate beef, ribs, right? Yeah. We cut it in the meat saw. To obtain piece is about three inches thick. Yeah. There's a diagonal, diagonal slice, slice, right, to separate yeah. the bones. Yeah. And then we kind of open it. That's really interesting. That's sort of, it's a butterfly cut where you cut and turn. Open. And then open. cut and turn. Yeah, yeah. And then the diamond cut. Diamond cut is we give the cut on this side and then turn over and then they make it same size. And when you see it, it looks like a diamond. So you take a, what's in effect is a very thick piece of meat uh -huh. and you open it up to make a very thin steak. Right. Right. One of the things that so fascinates me about barbecue is how different cultures take the same cut of meat and they figure out different ways to cook, it, ways to cook it, it according to what sort of fire, what sort of mm -hmm. customs, traditions they have. Wow. The preparation takes longer. <laughs> yes. So it's very labor intensive yeah. to begin with. Jenny, that looks so fantastic. Mm -hmm. 